Hi everyone, this is Marianne from Revealing Light, Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. Uh, how are you all today, wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. Thank you all for your comments and feedback on my astrology reading, looking at the exact conjunction between the North Node, Uranus and Mars, uh, which is occurring right now, depending on where you are in the world. It's the 1st of August here in Australia. Um, and these, uh, the North Node, Uranus, Mars, conjunct at 18 degrees um, in Taurus. So if you haven't seen that reading, go back and have a look. There's some, there's some pretty good stuff in it. It's not all bleak. Uh, sometimes what I describe as the Tower moments can actually be um, huge breakthroughs. However, having said that, it's very hard to ignore what has occurred over the last couple of days. Uh, and of course, I go. I said that there could be some climate change, uh, climate change disasters occurring. We've got the, uh, uh, you know, just tragic flooding in Kentucky in the U.S. There are 28 dead. The governor expects that uh, toll to rise. And unfortunately, as was the case in Australia. We had uh, repeated flooding, so um, and there is more rain expected in Kentucky, Kentucky uh, today, actually, uh, or Monday morning uh, in the US. So um, that has been um, particularly jarring for Australians to see because those images that you see in Kentucky where there's that much of a building left and, and two-thirds of it is underwater, or worse, are uh, some of the graphic images that we saw in the uh, flooding in Australia this year. So uh, anyone uh, from Kentucky that is watching this now, um, you know, we stand in support with you, uh, having but recently been through a similar thing. Uh, so we'll ask about this flooding. Uh, was that as a result of climate change? You know, I think that answer is pretty obvious. Um man-made climate change, human-made climate change. Okay, so um, there's been that occurring in the last couple of days. One of the things that really triggered me over the weekend was the news coming out of uh, of Ukraine that the Azovstal uh, brave warriors that held that steel plant for so long and the UN and Red Cross and Ukraine brokered a deal with Russia that they would be come prisoners of war, but they would be looked after by Russia. Well, of course, why are we not surprised? Uh, basically, Russia bombed bombed the prison of war camp and about 50 Azov fighters died. There's also been some pretty horrendous war crimes detail that I'm not going to share here but suffice to say Russia's really acting like ISIS in its most barbarian and brutal form so I'm not going to share that here because it made me sick to my stomach but what I but those events over the last few days have been particularly jarring I still think there's uh, more to come I talked about financial institutions perhaps being affected. Uh, I also talked about some major things coming out around Trump. We have had a couple of things occur, and that is uh, Matt Gaetz, uh, the, the Congress con representative in the House in Congress, um, under uh, investigation by the DOJ. That investigation is widening. Uh, they've said that... Um, whether it's this or something else, uh, Ron DeSantis, the governor, is actually being looked at. I don't, I, yeah, it could be the Matt Gates affair, so to speak, um, but I think there's something around money, Russian money. Okay, so let's just watch that space. Gates was also caught on hot mic uh, telling Roger Stone that don't worry, who, remember, he was being investigated by the DOJ and charged and found guilty and then Trump pardoned him. Don't worry about that. The big guy, the big guy likes you and he's going to pardon you. Okay, so I want to know if those pardons will hold up. Um, one of the, 
I guess like a tinderbox that I'm a little bit worried about is the what's occurring in Serbia and Kosovo. So NATO is does have a peacekeeping force in Kosovo. However, the Serbs are building up forces along the border uh, of Kosovo and there's been uh, some violence, some shots exchanged between Kosovo uh, police and, the, and, and Serbs in a part of Kosovo, now think Ukraine and Russia, the east, a part of Kosovo where about 50,000 Serbians live. They don't recognise Kosovo's rule. And so there's been this tension and violence, uh, uh, shots exchanged between Serbians living in Kosovo and Kosovo police. Um, some say that Kosovo, uh, that Putin's behind this and that stoking a war between Serbia and Kosovo is a backdoor a backdoor way into uh, some sort of attack on Europe. So there's, you know, there's a lot going on uh, as to be expected with these kind of planetary influences. Let's uh, let's get started on pretty much the week ahead. Thank you for uh, bearing with me. I like to give an overview just to set the scene for what I'm actually reading on. And um, for those that uh, have stayed with me right through that, um, my sources are mainstream and reputable media. That's the research I do. I do actually have a research degree. Okay, so um, let's get started with the divination motivation. The hardest part of the climb is before the summit. Keep going. That's Saturn energy. Remember in my reading the other day, I talked about Saturn in Aquarius and how it was actually working for the greater good even though we actually can't see that yet. I'm using my Revealing Light Oracle. This is my own oracle that I put out a couple of years ago. Um, and uh, thank you for all those that have have got my oracle. Um, and if you want more information on it, it's on my website. So let's uh, let's have a look at the week ahead and the um, under, underlying energies for the week ahead, please. Underlying energies for the week ahead. Underlying energies for the week ahead. So we have here our resilience. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm kind of tired. Even here's Taurus. Okay, so. All these things occurring in Taurus tells us that this is making the world more resilient. This is major tr truths are being exposed about its weaknesses, about the things that we need to change. But this is even during the darkest storm, there is illumination within. Be your own guiding light and never give up. Resilience number seven. Seven, of course, is... Um, where we get our wisdom from, the lessons that notches on our belt, the lessons that we need to learn, which really do make us more resilient. So there is great change afoot um, with that Taurian uh, energy that we're seeing at the beginning of this week. Now we've got change, at times not easy but often necessary. And here's Saturn again. Uh, this Saturn energy that came up around motivation, one and five, change very much at the individual level as well. You know, I often do this group, these group readings, which you can transpose to your own uh, changes that you're undergoing. Um, this is around needing to put in the work. Um, and this is also about recognising uh, where your weaknesses are, looking at those shadow sides and putting that hard work in. Um, it's time. Saturn is Father Time. It It is... Our, it is a product of our time, the time that we live in, the time of change, the time of really knuckling down and doing the work that's needed to be done. So um, Taurus, Saturn, the, uh, conjunct, the great conjunction Taurus uh, in Taurus that's occurring at the moment. Uh, will bring forward or is bringing forward or is highlighting the changes that we're going through. Divine connection. This is the last card in the pack and there's a rainbow there. All my readings, because nothing, and I know from 
experience. I mean, I've got a stellium in the sixth house. The sixth house is, you know, around health, you know, my health uh, battles and journey. Um, it's around sacrifice. It's around hard work. Um, it can sometimes bring forward what appears to be, um, well, you know, in some ways luck is not on your side, but luck is uh, because we've got this rainbow and we've got this spiritual connection, this Venus. I think Venus in that chart that I did the other day was in Cancer, Venus in Cancer. So getting in touch with your feelings, uh, connecting with the divine, uh, being on the right side of the ledger in terms of understanding that all things pass that we are, it's never bleak forever, and that's what I started out to say, that once change is accomplished and the work is done, you get to reap the rewards. So divine connection, when we connect with spirit, life offers us an abundance that we have may, maybe haven't experienced before, and I know that to be true too. And the last card is Renaissance. This is Leo energy as well. So the sun is in Leo. Great strength. Great strength to bring forward change. Number nine, getting toward uh, 10, bringing so old cycles to a close. At the personal level, we have always have had, once we recognize it, the opportunity to create our own masterpieces. The base of the pack, we've got freedom. What is the masterpiece that we're creating at the moment? Freedom. What are we working for? What are we fighting for? We're fighting for freedom. We're fighting for freedom at the individual level and at the collective level. No matter which country you live in, it will come down to freedom. Breaking out of self-imposed restrictions, finding your voice, finding your voice. This is Gemini and Mercury. Mercury um, energy, I think Mercury is in Leo, I think, for, at this time, in the chart that I was looking at the other day. Okay. All right. As I said, when I cast charts uh, and they, um, you, you know, at – my chart was cast over Washington, so that mirrored the the energies of what is occurring in Washington. But wherever you are in the world, the planets and houses and aspects, the favourable and the not so favourable aspects will uh, will be the same. They just won't be in the same houses of the zodiac. All right, now let's drill down on some of this, these rapid fire questions. Um, all right, so let's first go to patent the tensions in Kosovo and Serbia. I'm now using my Spellcasters Tarot. It's one of my favourites that captures such a diversity of uh, peoples in this deck. Um, so Kosovo and Serbia, what's likely to occur? Well, I'm just going to ask, will uh, tensions escalate and like a war break out? Uh, between Serbia and Kosovo or the NATO forces and Serbia. Uh, let's have a look. Will uh, tensions rise? Will war break out between Serbia and Kosovo? Serbia and Kosovo. I'm seeing the moon. It's like an eclipse that I'm seeing. Um, now, of course, the moon orbits the Earth the sun, and the Earth uh, orbits the sun so let's take a look here the queen of cups feelings are running really high and they always have in that part of the world it's a little bit like Russia and Ukraine in fact many similarities are unnervingly there uh, a people uh, Serbians living within Kosovo's borders, not recognising the rule. Is it starting to sound familiar? I'm going to ask if Putin's behind this because Serbia supports Putin. Challenged by the King of Cups. Now, there's this NATO force that has been in Kosovo protecting or their peacekeeping um, it does have US, it's under the command of the US. So we've now got the king and the queen here. Do we have the wisdom? So 
something is going to be revealed and we have the emotional wisdom crossing that. So mm, it's a very volatile, volatile, always has been in the Balkans, what was known as the Balkans, Serbia and Kosovo. Very, very, very emotional. Emotional volatile, volatility is the big energy here. Seven of Pentacles review. Um, you know, this is a, this is around something not working. So needing to go back and look at something again. I'm not sure what's occurring for the Serbians in Kosovo, uh, but it looks like there's money involved in some way. Someone else might have the background there for me. I haven't had a chance to do a deep dive there, but it looks like there's economic issues, perhaps. Um, that might be at the root of this. Um, all right, let's have a look at what's in the past. The Queen of Wands, she's she's the brave. She has motivation, but that's in the past. So uh, she, she comes forward with a plan and a project. Perhaps that is the division. I mean, Serbia has always thought that Kosovo was part of Serbia, etc., etc. As I said, very a lot of similarities between Russia and Ukraine. Seems like money is at the root of this. And I, you know, now I'm fascinated. When I finish this reading, I will go back and have a look at what, why money would be here. Um, the Serbians are armed, so there's a possibility that. That they that they have been supplied with arms, and we have uh, retreat and mortally wounded in the near future. I think, unfortunately, we're going to see some some deaths in that part of the world. Uh, my my question was, will war uh, will tensions rise and and some sort of war break out? Look, it's a very volatile high white act at this time here and that's right by I think it is the Adriatic Sea so there's something all over the world there's it's like the those who control the the sea um you know there's that that push towards controlling shipping lanes there's something around shipping lanes here that's relevant and why would I not be surprised about Russia coming up I think also Serbia Serbia might want something, might want some kind of resource that Kosovo has access to the sea, perhaps. I wish I had a map here of the world and Russia looks like she is behind it. Hopes and fears, we, uh, we have an inevitability, the judgment card, the fear that there's, um, that there's going to be, it's inevitable that war will break out. Judgment card. Okay, eight of eight of swords. We've got restriction. Um, I not quite yet. We've got the ace of cups. That's a that's a new start, but it's also high emotions. Okay, so uh, I think what could happen here with that death card? Yeah, five of swords, abuse of power, uh, and the nine of pentacles. There's a lot. It's a lot around money. And I'm just getting that draw to that seaport. Um, the next question, so what I think might happen is that NATO will contain it, but I think that there's going to be an escalation of some of some sort where people could be killed there. Um, it has something, as I said, to do with that that sea um, seaport. I'm just fascinated. Uh, let's see if I can just see. Because the next question I want to ask is Russia, is Russia um, provoking this? Let's have a look. If I can see, have a look at a map. Oh, dear. I just wish somebody would remove Putin and we can all get, get back to uh, a reasonable state of affairs. Um, I can't see a map. Okay, uh, looks like does Kosovo border the sea? It borders some sort of inlet that may flow through to the sea. Anyway, 
let's uh, let's keep going. All right, let's keep going. Of course, Montenegro is is there as well. Putin seems to be after ports, seaports. Okay, so maybe a new kind of era where Russia controls those. I mean, as if we're going to stand idly by while he engineers that kind of control. All right, is Putin provoking this? Is Putin provoking this? these tensions with between Serbia and Kosovo? So we've got the Hierophant, we've got the government. My feeling is that, that Russia might be funding some arms uh, in Serbia. That's what I feel. And we've got the Knight of Swords, the truth here. Um, that's attack. Uh, Ten of Wands, he is doing it. Um, he is doing it tough. He is carrying, a, he's got a lot of, I mean, this is Putin, isn't it? This is what he's been doing for 20 years. This is what we've been letting him get away with for 20 years, building Gazprom, gas to Europe, cutting off supplies. Yes, he did, uh, completely with Latvia, um, but are down to about 20% with the EU. Um, but he is, he's got a lot of balls in the air. Well, balls, a lot of wands in the air. Um, now, the past, we have the Seven of Cups. Illusion, delusion. It's like he's been setting all this up like a che on a chessboard, and we've not, we've not seen that. The Hermit, planning, review, review, introspection, isolation. Oh, nine of Wands. Okay, so we've got some kind of border here. We've got a border. Nine of Wands, guardrails, border. We've got the full card, New Start, and the environment around the King of Pentacles. He's looking for allies. You know, he's looking for... We don't underestimate that his involvement in Ukraine is the only thing. <clears throat> he's looking for new... <clears throat> new assets, let's just put it that way. Even though he's waging this war with Ukraine, he's looking for some kind of new leverage, new advantage. The Emperor card control in the hopes and fears, losing control or gaining control, the hanged man. So this is a maybe, maybe, not clear yet. Let's see what's clarifying it. Well, couldn't be too to clearer. Uh, that's contracts, commitments, partnerships. So there's a partnership here to neutralise. And the three of wands, of course, waiting for the ship to come in. Yeah, so this is something that Pet Putin would benefit from if Serbia overran Kosovo. High priestess, always worry when I see her giving and receiving help and movement, movement. So it's a tumultuous world that has always been tumultuous. We're just seeing plans changing and moving forward, but it, it, this has all been set up for decades now. It's like a culmination. Oh, power unchecked. Is power out of control? Reaping what you sow. All right, let's uh, let's go to the US now, um, and let's have a look at. No, okay, let's have a. No, we won't go to the US quite now, yet. Let's take a look at financial systems because that is one of the, in my reading, um, is one of the. Taurus is around finances. Um, financial services it can be aligned with that let's just take a look at financial systems are we going to see it was one of the possibilities that I talked about the other day we're going to see any movement in financial systems here up or down or some kind of major major financial news over the next couple of weeks are we going to see in our uh, in our systems, 
our financial systems, like recession declared, for example. Are we seeing a major meltdown of our financial systems in the next couple of weeks? So we have here the page of wands. So this is kind of cut down, but it's also news, getting news. And we've got the Ace of Cups, new starts. So there may be news, but I don't think it's complete collapse. Um, the Seven of Swords. So this is some kind of deception, theft as well. It's like, uh, you know, it could be a cyber attack on financial systems. Again, you know, something is being planned. Seven of Swords talks about somebody breaking into the armory, stealing the arms and leaving the camp unguarded. The Hierophant in the past. Again, you know, we're going to reap what we sow. Ten of Wands, okay, so that's um, that's carrying too much of a load. Too much of a load, debt. Too much of a debt load. Queen of Wands in the near future. Well, she has a plan. She moves through. This is Sagittarian energy in the immediate future. So we're getting maybe some news. Uh, King of Wands. Um, that's the lawmakers and the courts. We have the King of Cups. Okay, so here I think in the US, um, this climate change budget reconciliation bill is extremely important in relation to this question. Tackling inflation. Nine of Cups in the hopes and fears. Well, that's wish fulfillment. We have the devil card, toxicity, chained to greed. Greed and avarice is associated with this toxic energy. Systems are under a huge strain. We might hear of a potential failure. However, I don't see it being massively uh, devastating because the Knight of Pentacles is sustainability, reliability there for the longer term. But in the system, you have the greed, like a market failure due to greed, which undermines the reliability of the system and the Three of Pentacles. Um, that's working working to rebuild something. So we have the Empress card here. So again, I get a draw to Russia. We do have the crossroads. Neutralise, neutralise Putin and a lot of this will go away. The North Star or the Star card is there as well. We have huge decisions to make. What I think is there could be some type of market failure that we might hear about over the next two weeks in our financial system. I don't see it being devastating. I do feel that it has been brought on by greed. The bank's greed. The stock market's greed. All right, let's take a look at, I know this is getting uh, getting up there. All right, will there be uh, higher floods in Kentucky over the next couple of days? Will there, will, will there be, the governor said that there will be more flooding. Will there be, sometimes that doesn't come to pass, you know, it's not, the levels don't get as high as they think. Um Will Kentucky get a reprieve, I think, is what I'm going to ask. So we've got here the Ten of Wands, the Queen uh, Queen of Wands. So, again, this is this Saturn energy uh, coming in. Well, not in these cards, but uh, it's around our motivation. Like, we are really carrying a lot at this time. A lot. Will Kentucky get a reprieve from the flooding? So we have here the Six of Pentacles. Um, there's going to be help there uh, coming from the federal government, obviously, for families. They're, they're going to be targeted with specific help. We have the Nine of Pentacles. There's going to be funds freed up to help those that have been affected. Now, we've got the Moon card here. You know, we just cannot ignore this anymore. Um, and we've got abundance in the sky the empress card and the crossroads if we want our earth to continue to provide 
less natural disasters, uh, we do have to do something about climate change because it is it is accelerating with that chariot card. It's going more quickly than what we think. And there's a major surprise for us at the rate that the, these natural disasters are happening. I keep saying there's a quickening. Eight of Pentacles, never underestimate the human spirit, never underestimate uh, the human um, innovation, capacity for innovation uh, and uh, work on this. But we do have an inevitable, it's inevitable that Kentucky will be hit still. Uh, but we do have the moderation card here. So things will, will balance out and we do have uh, wish fulfilment. So the judgment card talks about uh, coming to a close, but it talks about an ending of some sort and then moving into moderation. This is kind of morphed in more to a climate change reading. The government will be there, whether it's state or whether it is uh, federal. But you've got your senators from Kentucky who are Republicans. What are they? What have they done about climate change bills? Nothing. Nothing. For why? And that is a common story all around the world when it comes to trying to stop climate change. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, next time I come back, I want to look at Putin in, uh, in some sort of depth because he is was always going to be a hard time for us, but he seems to be the centrepiece in a way. Uh, and I'll, I'll do a deep dive on him next reading. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now.